What's up everybody? Sparrow again here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers and we have an update episode. What? And this one's actually a pretty cool update if I do say so myself. Um, now for some reason the game log over here that they added a few patches ago does not show up for some reason. This patch, I don't know why exactly. Um, but one of the, there's two fairly large or no, three. There's three really big keynotes to this patch, right? Chairs! Dun 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 dun! So what are passenger seats? Well, as the name implies, it's a passenger seat. I know. Mind blown, right? Where am I? I'm sitting on the side of the ship. Because I can. Like a boss. Um, so yeah, you can add these with... 20 construction components and 20 interior plates. Now, for some reason, I don't know if it's intentional or if it's a glitch, the GUI shows that it's the same for both small and large ships, which seems a bit odd to moi, only because normally everything costs less on a small ship. But yeah, so you have chairs now. You can sit down. So for all those people that are tired of standing, here you go. Um... So yeah, that's a that's a big deal. I I I like that a lot, um, especially for those of you that have kept up with my channel and just saw the uh, brand new machinima thing that, that uh, the the posse, the three of us did. Uh, well, technically four. Uh, Caden Red Pearl from Infinity Gamer helped us out, and we'll continue to do so in future episodes. Um, but of the Dog Squad, our new machinima series, this will come in handy. Definitely. Um, the other cool part, in my opinion, is you could... It wouldn't function as, as well, because technically the, the cockpits all have seats. But you could set up like observatory type where it's all glass and then just put a, uh, a seat in the room or make like APCs to carry people, so on and so forth. Um, the other big change is colors for suits. Now, normally you'd walk into the med bay, hit T, and it would bring up a list of names, and you could click on them and pick... Excuse me. You could pick individual, um, colors. Now, you have a hue. Now, why this says astronaut, I don't know. It makes me curious as to whether they're doing something else or not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, you can actually change the hue now, and the saturation, which is really cool, and then the brightness. So, you could have very custom colors instead of just blue. You can have like this, you know, light purple or uh, orangey red, you know, kind of thing. That's, you know, you can do some really cool stuff, which is pretty neat. And I look forward to it. Again, this was like an update geared towards the new Machinima series that we're doing, because seats and color changes and all that stuff, it's just awesome. Awesome, awesome. We can do a lot with that. So, you'll probably see stuff like that in future episodes of that series, which will be a lot of fun. I know I'm excited about it. And thank you all, by the way, for the support. I've gotten a lot of likes off of that episode and a lot of positive comments, and I am very excited about that. Now, the other really big, like, function, those two are, like, kind of aesthetic, but this is a big function side of things, is they've overhauled the, um, the con conveyor, is what I was looking for, the conveyor system a bit. So, at the moment, uh... You can see there's nothing but uranium on the ship. So let's go get some stone, just because it's here and we can. Okay, what do we got now? Why can't I... I think my keys got remapped. Because a lot of my buttons aren't working that used to, so I think that's a byproduct of the update. Okay, so we have 412 stone in the connector. Now... Now that I think about it, that's something I wanted to look at. You have connector... Okay, they still have ejectors and collectors and everything, but... The connector is kind of overhauled at this point, and it's kind of neat now. 
because it does some cool stuff. So before, it would just spit things out and you had to spit it into a collector, right? Like a hopper. Now, whoa, I'm way off. Um, now what you can do is you can line it up to another... Is this, a, is this a ejector? Oh, there it goes. So you can line it up like this, right? And you'll see the yellow glow. It kind of gives that magnetic feel like a landing gear and kind of pulls you in. Now, I think you hit P. Yes, you hit P. Now, I can't go anywhere. I'm not moving. But if we pull up, the connector no longer has 412 um, items in it. And you can see the assembler, the grinder... The refinery, which is taking the stone and making gravel, the large container, etc., etc. So, this means these have basically become pseudo merge blocks, in essence. That when you connect them, the two connectors, whatever is on each side, now sees each other. It now links in together and you can access it. So, this would be useful for things like reloading, for example. Um, and then you can undock and pull away. Oh, well, kind of pull away. Once you get past that, like, magnetic grip that it has. Um, in fact, I'd actually like to test that. Because I believe this has a connector right there on the bottom. Okay. So let's see... Okay, now let's... We do have ejectors, so let's set to these. Small cargo container. Where's the ejector? Do I not have any... Where, where'd the ejector go? Rocket, rocket, rocket. Did I? Okay, it spit something out. I think that was ammo for one of the things. I was going to try and get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, part of it is because rockets have to be taken out from the actual rocket, I guess. Let's throw that in there. Can't wait. Can I? No, I can't put it in the ejector. Alright, now this is actually going to be useful for my survival series, so let's see how you actually do this. Okay, you hit I, and then you can pull the rockets out that way. So rockets are... Well, actually, in that case, let's leave these in here now that I think about it. Rockets are going to be the one thing that you can't really use the conveyor system for. I hope they patch that at some point, but for now, it's the way it is. Um, so let's turn our ejector back off. Get... Woo! A little too lined up there. Get close. Whoop. And shunk. And I do think the landing gears can interfere with this, but as long as the two X's on the connectors and stuff are okay, you're okay. From what I've been told. Okay, so what you can do now... Wait a minute. Did it... Didn't do it already, did it? Okay, so here's the large container, right? So you can grab this and bring it up to... Gatling Gun 2. Boom! Now, the other thing you can do is if we move this back to... The Gat... Wait, no. Uh, where's a cargo crate? Small cargo crate, right? So we'll put it back here. You can set your Gatling guns. Oh, they already have set to use conveyor system. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So then I don't know why it's not pulling directly. You might have to have a different setup then. But still, you can come in and drop this. Like so. Undock. Pull away. Pull away. Okay, fine. Pull away. 
And now, if you were to select your two guns, you actually have a lot of ammo because I'm in creative mode. I see now. But anyways, you get the idea. Woo! I'm a terrible pilot. Um, you get the idea, though, that you can connect that. Now, one thing that some have already begun to realize that I didn't pick up on immediately, but it is very cool, is the idea of small ships connecting to large ships and not by landing gear. So this is a small ship, right? My little welder guy here. Ring. My little welder guy. Can you... You can't weld without it. Okay. So this is a small ship, and obviously the big red one here is a large ship, right? So normally, those of you that have paid attention to the updates know you can't do... Can I just go ahead and grind these while I'm right here? Maybe. No? Whatever. You can't do merge blocks for small to large ships. You can do landing gears to just mount them to it, but then you can't access the actual ship, right? Right. Good. Now... If my mem... Yep, see? And you can't move. You're kind of stuck in there. Now you do see that little bit of a wobble, right? So it's not, it, it's not quite like a merge block where it's permanent, but you could... You know what? Let's test that theory out a bit. Let's see just how much this can take. Oh look, they put passengers here. Oh yes, you can paint them as well. I forgot to mention that. Um... So you can paint the, the chairs, which is awesome! Now can you... I guess you can't paint those... Wait, maybe you can. Maybe I just had a bad color. No. Can't paint those cockpits, you can paint the other ones. Okay, so we are in the, the large ship now. Uh, turn the ship on. Oh! Because I'm connected to the small one, when I use the small ship to hit Y, it turned the whole thing off. That's interesting. Now, that's something that you'd have to work with as far as um, you'd want to manually turn off the thrusters for the large, or uh, for the small ship. So, I think. Yeah, so when you're in one, like I'm in the large ship now, so the gold is all the small ship, and vice versa, if I was in the small ship, all the gold is for the large. So we can go through here and highlight everything. And this is more of a survival thing. If you're playing creative, it really wouldn't matter, I don't think. And you can name this small ship thrusters and turn them off. So now they're off, but the main ones are on. So let's see how it does now. So we're moving along and doing our little maneuvers and so on and whatnot. And it holds pretty good. It's not really flying off the handle or anything like that. So even though it's a connector and not a merge block, you can use those as a merge block, in a way, to hold escape pods or, you know, other ships like that. Um, so that, that would come in really handy, in my opinion, for different construction designs. And then you can, you know, disengage um, it would help if I turned all my thrusters back on, wouldn't it? And you can pull away, and then you're good to go. So that's pretty neat. It, I, in my opinion, it holds a bit better than just landing gears. The landing gears didn't ever really seem like they held on that well, and there was a bit more of a physics 
uh, fly around type of, you know, they kind of wiggle and flop all over while you were flying. Uh, this seems to be a bit more of a stable solution, but in my opinion it's awesome because you can load up the ship, you can reload its weapons, all that kind of stuff, all while being able to use it as a clamp, basically. Um, so I'm going to pause it just for a minute and see if there's anything that I missed. I know those were the big three main things, but let me see if there's anything else. Okay, so pretty much got most of everything. Um, there's one thing that stated the ejectors now will eject... Rel uh, the items will inherit velocity, so if you're flying down when you eject, they'll fly faster, is kind of how I interpreted that. I could be wrong, but... If I am, then someone who understands inherent velocities can explain it better than I can, but that's what I interpreted it as, was if you're flying forward and eject, then the object's going to fly forward for a little bit, too. Um, so that's one thing that I missed. The other um, was... Actually, no, I forgot. What was it? Um... Oh, you can copy and paste grids now that are connected by rotors. So, that's kind of a big thing that you couldn't ever do before. They made some real leaps and bounds with rotors. So let's say I'm in the way. Let's say I'm in the way. So let's say you put, you're making a car or something, right? And you wanted to use... Ah, uh, those are really small tires. You wanted to put tires on the rotors. Before, this would not copy over. When you clicked copy, you would get everything but the two wheels. Um, and now, you can see that the rotors have their own little blocks surrounding it. Um, so, now you can actually copy and paste things that have rotors in them as kind of all one structure. That's probably a byproduct of them adding the ability to pass through electricity, it probably isn't being seen as a separate ship, or at least a more coherent one. Uh, adhesive, you know, it's stuck together better. I don't know why I said adhesive. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's, that's a helpful tool, especially for builders and designers, because you can actually duplicate things that have rotor structures to them, which is pretty awesome. Um, but the big thing for me, that I got out of it by far is the connector system, the changing of color for the astronaut, and the seats. I like the seat idea. I know that sounds really silly, but it's kind of one of those things that I never thought I never knew I wanted in the game. You know, was just the ability to make a chair and just sit somewhere. Um, you could make escape pods and stuff that could just launch but not you know, have a necessarily a pilotable controls or something. They could just be set to, to move or something. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Um, but that would be fun. There's a lot you could probably do with it. So, um, I think that's about it for this update. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace!